Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Starting the timer. Boom. TNT. What? I'm going to bring something back. I talked about this on one of the five episodes of the podcast I did before you ever were on it. Okay. Urinal etiquette. No, we, we spoke on this one before, but I'm, I'm, I'm definitely willing to dive back into it. It's a quick tenny. Let's quick tenny. Go. Let's so, go. For, this is, for the ladies listening... This is a little insight to how men's bathrooms work. Mm-hmm. So, you know, do you ever stand? <laughs> what are you going to No, with? dude. It's a lot of suspense. I'm yeah. going off so, already. Urinal etiquette okay. is, it's, it's a weird situation because in all women's rooms, they have individual stalls. Yes. And you don't have to, like, it would be like if you sat down, sat down in the open room to pee. And another lady walked in. Dudes are standing up, peeing in a in a little trough. Could you imagine if they just had in a women's bathroom just like a bunch of toilets lined up, and all the girls <laughs> just had to sit down right next to each other? Right, which is essentially what we had. Or they put like a, one of the little dividers, like like they do in the in the urinal. <laughs> where it's like half divider. It's like a it's like a one foot by two foot wall they try to put up so you can't like yeah. look at the other dude. You can penis. clearly look over and see the other girl on her phone. It doesn't even matter. Yeah, dude. So, but yeah. Do you do you always leave the extra the extra urinal? So you mean do I leave a buffer zone? Yes. Yes, I leave a buffer zone if I can. Yeah. I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna see a wall of urinals, one guy standing there and pick the one right next to him. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. You're like, I'm what not. about what about talking to guys while you pee? No. No. In there's, fact, I think that if you are a pee talker, you are one of the most rude individuals on the planet. And you should probably like take you need a course. Dude, you need to, you should take a college course. One of the on m- times in my life I love to talk. The one time in my life I don't want to talk to another man is when I'm holding my penis. <laughs> I have a theory that guys who do this are either uh, in professional sports, uh, the military, or like, uh, I don't know, crazy. Why is that? What's professional sports? Because in professional sports, you become very disassociated in, in the military as well. You become very disassociated with like seeing your, your fellow Oh, being man. people naked. Yeah, or even in those compromising situations because like it's just, it becomes like a big... Uh, like a dorm room. Well, that's true, I guess, because yeah, in sports, there's always dudes walking around yeah. with their dong out or, you know, you're showering together or whatever, because you're just in a, you're in an environment where you're changing or you're sweaty and mm-hmm. clean, getting clean or you're getting treatment or mm-hmm. whatever. And in the military, yeah, same sort of thing. You're just like, yeah. And inst- institutionalized. I should have brought that up too. That's another one where okay. it's just like, you're like, you're taking a piss in front of everybody all day, every day. So it's just like it's not even a big deal, right? Yeah, yeah. like you know, and I don't, yeah, I don't ever talk to anybody. Like, no. what about the, what about the guys who are just always like, oh, <laughs> like, is it okay to grunt? When you know I'm, what? dude, when I'm out drinking and I'm really drunk and I really mm. have to pee, sometimes yeah. it's hard not to be like, oh, it's so relieving because yeah. you have such a full bladder of all the beer you drink. Okay, this is dipping back into a little bit of bro code, but I'm going to say it is all right to grunt, but not to ex- excess. It's right. okay. Yeah, you can't sit there and just moan for 30 seconds. Yeah. I'm going to let you get it out. You get you get a good five-second long grunt. That's a... Uh, uh, that's all you get. After that, five you're being Five is pushing weird. it. I know, exactly. Three, three to five. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I'd say five is enough. Like that's enough. I felt uncomfortable putting that on camera. Yeah, I feel like that dude, could be I don't. And just, I don't like pee troughs either, dude. I don't understand the trough. Why is that even a thing? I don't want to piss on a railroad tie. I don't know why you're putting that. In yeah, the- dude. And that used to be like what was in stadiums and stuff. I guess yeah. it was cheaper to put a a big metal bucket than it was to put in a bunch of ceramic individual pee stations. Yeah. And then everyone got prude, and then they're like, what, you don't want to look at each other's dicks all day? It's and, really sad. I, like, I wonder what's the state of like the female bathroom at one of those baseball stadiums. They it's just have a, bunch for, of, they have a bunch of stalls. Yeah, but they're going for like cost-effectiveness, so what, they just give us a giant bucket? <laughs> a freaking latrine? I know, I, and then the men's room at the stadium gets two stalls, and everyone's pooping in there, and they're, if you actually have to poop, disgusting oh, as hell. Yeah. Exactly. This is, and and what and women just get like all the home amenities? They get a ton of stalls. They yo. get the seashells. I swear to God, if the women have the seashells, Jonas, I will scream from yeah. the mountaintop. Three of them, 
The three seashells? <laughs> the three seashells? Yeah, dude. Uh, no. Yeah. But no, dude, I, uh, troughs are gross. You know, there is, uh, there's still places in downtown Austin that have troughs. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I went, yeah, I went to the piano bar and like you walk in and here's the thing about the piano bar. The trough is only like five foot long and you're like, bro. At least make it be long enough that three dudes can land up comfortably. It's bad enough you got to pee in a trough, let alone you got to like be shoulder to shoulder right. with the guys when you're right. doing it. Like, give me some space if I'm gonna let my shit <laughs> fly out like is that. Is it is it one of the troughs that is flush up against the walls, or one of the troughs where your guy can come up from either side and it's in the center? Oh, <laughs> they don't have those, do they? <laughs> I swear they have There's a trough. splash zone at that point, dude. I swear you can have a trough where you can have just like a guy facing another guy. Like just like I've never <laughs> seen I would not use it because you're gonna get splashed on, bro. You're like staring in his eyes while he pee. <laughs> dude, you know what trough I am okay with that I have Getting seen? His knuckles damp. Okay. You know how <laughs> his knuckles damp. You know how like they have urinals that are like they go they're on the oh wall, but then they have the same urinals that look exactly the same, but they go all the way down to the floor. Yeah. I've seen pee troughs that were like the floor urinal, but it went across an entire wall. Huh. And I was like, for some reason, that's not as bad in my it's mind. It's not as bad. I, it doesn't feel like you're peeing in a bucket because you're peeing at the floor. You're not peeing like at <laughs> mid-level. Dude, I don't like the floor drain idea either. That's kind of gross to no, me too. Weird. I don't want to just pee on the ground. Like, I get it. It's cost effective. It's, it's, it's unique. It's chic. Especially at like the piano bar you're talking about, which is like it's a whole experience. It's not even a cheap place to go to, and then they have to have like a this whole trough. yeah. They, and the bathroom's like the size of like my closet because it's freaking kitschy. I'm, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't piano know. bar is fun. Have you ever been? No, I have not been, dude. It's a good time, not during COVID probably, because everyone's singing and screaming into the air. Yeah, but I, like I should have gone. I did not. But. No, uh, once uh, COVID's over, man, we'll have to double date it out there with somebody, some ladies sometime. Okay. Ladies love it, dude. Ladies love it. They do. They love do. You can take. You can send up money and have them do a song for you. So like, if you know your girl likes a song, you can make them, You can have them do that song. You like, yeah. So it's 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 pretty cool, man. Oh, so you're, you're thinking that I'm gonna pay because the girl likes a song? Yeah, you would. Yeah. I would. <laughs> yeah <laughs> i totally would yeah dude because I, I uh yeah because i went i went with a girlfriend i was seeing and like i went up and like threw a song up that i knew she really liked she was like oh my god did you do this and i was like yeah, no that's not my money but yeah i did it absolutely <laughs> that's fair fair no enough. it really was the song i paid for but fair enough yeah i actually won I actually, speaking of, I think of another episode, you talked about how you weren't lucky. I won, I won a free gift certificate for the piano bar one time when I went. You like, if you went, you uh, and you uh, followed them on Instagram, which I didn't even. I have an Instagram that I never used, mm. but I signed in and followed them, and I have like four followers, and I ended up being the one that won. I won like a seventy-five dollar gift card to go back another time, <laughs> and I used that all on alcohol because they don't sell food. They don't sell food. Nope. You can Dude, bring food I, in. Th and see, and that's the that's the problem with America, right there. <laughs> no, they, the you problem. can bring food in. Like you can go there. The, there's a pizza place down there. You can bring a whole fucking pizza in and eat it at your table if you want. Nah, but like, nah. they only sell alcohol. I mean, I like that the fact that they do that, but I don't understand why they wouldn't sell food. Yeah, and that's also where I took nipple biter, and she drank two. She drank two full drinks that were meant to be table I drinks. That, the freaking giant margaritas. Yeah, right? they have a. They come with like rubber ducks in them and stuff with like five oh, straws because they're supposed God. to be able to drink the COVID now, right? A table where everyone drinks out of the same drink. Um, Yo, fam, that should have been the biggest red flag to you right there. Oh, it was. That was the last time I saw her. That was the second. That was that. What that event was the. I'm gonna give you another shot event. Mm. Yeah, and that's what she did. Mm. Yeah, like we were out for 45 minutes, and she had had two table drinks to herself. That's the telltale sign of a person that does not have their shit together. Yeah, alcoholism probably too. I mean, yeah. Well, yeah, so. you don't have your shit together if you're an alcoholic. Anyways, that's all time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, uh, we are.